When it comes to a good kaiju movie, one thing is always front and center, the monsters. Over the last century, these movies and gigantic creatures crushing humanity and themselves have slowly evolved into what we have today, the Monsterverse. And when it comes to the titans in the Monsterverse, size does matter. With this take on Godzilla being one of the largest ever, the rest of the monsters in this universe needed to match the king of the monsters in terms of sheer scale. In Godzilla 2014, we got the male and female Muto, monstrous bug-like titans that wanted to populate the entire globe. The female was the larger of the two, coming in at over 300 feet 91 meters tall. Even the male who was much smaller towers over Godzilla minus one's take on the G-Man, 200 feet 61 meters tall. In Godzilla Awakening, we got the Muto Prime, a monster that reached sky high at 350 feet tall. 107 meters. We then continued on with Godzilla King of the Monsters, introducing us to many new titans each of uber proportions. But with the question of how big is Shimo, we have to look at the last super alpha titan that Godzilla had to battle with. King Ghidorah. Or Ghidorah. Currently, Monster Zero holds the title as the largest titan in the Monsterverse. Standing at an insane 521 feet or 159 meters tall. A record that many questioned would ever be broken, that was until we heard about Shima. This new beast, said to be one of the oldest titans in this story we call the Monsterverse, may just make Ghidorah look like a pipsqueak. And I'm going to explain in detail the size of this titan so when the new empire drops you'll go in prepared for this spectacle that will be Shima. But first, let's recap on what little we do know about this new monster. The Titan is female, and she is said to have great ice-based powers that can threaten the entire world. Under some unknown circumstances, Shimo has aligned herself with the Scar King, the tyrannical ruler of the Hollow Earth. And it's going to be up to Godzilla and Kong to stop them from completing their goal of destruction and terror. Now with our mission of detailing Shimo's size as accurately as possible, we are going to first take a peek at some of the very few glimpses of Shimo we've gotten so far in the trailers. Spoiler warning for those who want to go in blind. First off, let's focus on the shot of Shimo firing her frostbite blast into the sky. Now, we can't determine much of the specifics of her size with this shot, but what we can determine is that she is massive. Appearing larger than the buildings in this scene that we know are all less than 150 meters tall, or 491 feet. Due to building codes in Brazil that don't allow skyscrapers to be built much larger than that. This is with their goal of not wanting to ruin the skybox and beauty in the area, or in the Monsterverse's case, epic views of titan combat. So does this mean Shimo is over 491 feet tall? Well, that's what we're going to find out. The next freeze frame from the trailer was a sneaky one, you wouldn't even hardly be able to catch it if not for us pesky YouTubers overanalyzing every little detail down to the butthole diameter of Kong and the genitalia of Godzilla. No dick, no balls and probably no butthole since this guy feeds on radiation. Once again, we can't get the exact size of Shimo from this view, but we can see that she is easily twice as large in overall mass as evolved Godzilla. We know that this form of Godzilla is around 400 feet tall and 1,000 feet long, so judging from what you are seeing on the screen right now, what does that tell you about the size of the legendary Shimo? Well, this third and final shot of the new Titan from one of the TV teaser spots gets us the information that we need. As Godzilla and Shimo brawl freeze here, we see that Godzilla is able to get his shoulder under the neck of Shimo, and this allows us to see just how immense Shimo truly is. Her head alone is nearly the size of Godzilla's entire chest. And we see that in terms of a visual you can imagine in your mind right now, Godzilla to Shimo in terms of size resembles that of the difference between a large human and a smaller sized horse. In short, Godzilla is fighting way above his weight class here in this fight. With all three of these images inspected, and using what we know about the laws regarding skyscraper height in Rio, where the scene takes place, we can now make some estimations on Shimo's size. Let's go to the Great Monarch Hall. Here we can see Shimo in all her glory. On all fours, we estimate Shimo to be between 400 to 450 feet, or 121 to 137 meters tall at the shoulder. Already overcoming Godzilla in height, but not anywhere near Ghidorah's impressive stats. But Shimo has another element up her sleeve. She can rear upright and stand on two legs. 
While it's probably only going to be for short periods of time similar to a grizzly bear, it's predicted that Shima will be able to lift her massive torso off the ground and tower over all other titans. Thanks to Wikizilla and some foreign marketing for the film, Shimo is said to be able to reach 531 feet or 162 meters tall. And unlike Eudora, 100 feet of this is not all due to a long neck. Shimo is frankly considerably larger than Ghidorah in every way. We estimate her to be around 1200 feet or 365 meters long and weigh in on the scale at around 200,000 tons. Let's compare her to some Monsterverse favorites here in the hall. And take note everyone that these are all pre-GXK numbers as I want to base Shimo off these monsters when last we seen them. Compared to Kong, Shimo is truly a beast of burden. There's a rumor that Scar might ride Shimo like a warhorse into battle, and it's safe to say that Kong could do the same as well given their size difference you can see here. Now for fan favorite, Behemoth. As one of the larger mammalian titans in this universe, Behemoth lives up to its name, but side by side with Shimo, and we can see that the furry sloth mammoth titan is anything but Behemoth. We can't do a Monsterverse size comparison without its star, Godzilla. We already saw in the teasers for the movie just how much larger Shimo is than Godzilla. And now that we have the two together in the hall, you can really see Shimo's size front and center. Godzilla is going to have one hell of a fight on his hands with this one residents. And lastly, we have Ghidorah. Now I've already talked about Ghidorah's size in this video, but seeing the two largest titans so far in the Monsterverse in the same area just hits different, you tell me. And we can see that even though their heights are about the same, that their body shapes are nothing alike and that Shimo is built significantly more heavy and beast-like. So to answer how big Shimo is, well, she is huge. No doubt the biggest titan in the Monsterverse that we know about so far. And I can't wait to see what the Monsterverse has in store for this legendary new titan. And if there are still even larger monsters lurking somewhere in the Hollow Earth or perhaps beyond our world altogether. And if you want to see what happens next, well, make sure and go out and watch this movie when it drops in theaters so we can get more films down the line. Go support this thing. We're already hearing that season two of Monarch Legacy of the Monsters may have just been greenlit by Apple TV, rumored to be dropping in 2025 by KDM. So we may not be done with the Monsterverse just yet, everyone. And so in that case, make sure to stop that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was fun to put together, and if you want more like it, make sure and share it around, get the algorithm all fired up. As always everyone, this has been Jacob, and I will see you in the next one.